Edexcel A-Level Maths, Pure Paper 1, Summer 2018, Question 2. A curve C has equation y equals x squared minus 2x minus 24 root x for x larger than 0. We need to find dy by dx and d2y by dx squared. So first of all, let's differentiate. So here's our y. If we rewrite it, so instead of putting root x, we'll put x to the power of a half. This will make the differentiation slightly easier. So remember to differentiate, we bring the power of x down to the front and knock one off the power. So the x squared becomes two x, our two x, the x disappears to make two, and our 24 x to the power of a half. We multiply the 24 by the half, we take one off the power, giving us a power of minus a half. Then we differentiate again, 2x becomes 2, the negative 2 disappears, and then for the last term we multiply the minus a half by the 12 to give us a 6, and we take another one off that power to give us minus 3 over 2. Part B is verify that C has a stationary point when x equals 4. So to show that something has a stationary point we need to show that the gradient is 0. So we take our dy by dx and we substitute 4 into the equation. So there we go, working that through, we come out with an answer of 0, hence c is a stationary point. Part c asks us to determine the nature of this stationary point and give a reason for our answer. So for this we're going to use our double derivative, so d2y by dx squared we've already worked out is 2 plus 6x to the power of minus 3 over 2. We're looking at the point where x equals 4, so we're going to put that into the equation, work it through, we get an answer of 2.75. As this is larger than 0, this means that our stationary point must be a minimum.